Hey guys, it's Curb Stomper here, bringing you a multiplayer and single player two part review of Medal of Honor. First part is multiplayer. It is a pretty great multiplayer. Uh, well, well, no. In a way, it is good. It plays kind of like Battlefield, but there's less vehicle warfare. Um, it's 12v12. Usually, it's mainly um, infantry based battling. And uh, the, the, the teams aren't very balanced, to tell the complete truth. The weapons you get when you spawn as Americans are different when you get when you spawn as Taliban. Uh, such as you get, instead of an M16 for your uh, assault class, you get a uh, AK-47, which is way underpowered, which is pretty bad. Because I've never used an underpowered AK-47. And, um... I don't know, I, I just didn't like it. But, uh, when you're Americans, um, th the game's pretty great, uh, you know. But, uh, when you're Taliban, you always feel like you're getting cheated out a lot because the American weapons are stronger. But, um, uh, you know, it, the game, a lot of games are like that. When, um, let's see, there's three classes, I'm gonna say this right now. There's three different classes you can choose from, and each level up separately. There's the... Rifleman class, which is assaults, weapons, and uh, light machine guns. There's a spec ops class, which is uh, SMGs and uh, combat shotguns. And then there's a sniper class, which is snipers and semi-automatic battle rifles. And, um, in my opinion, the automatic weapons for the uh, Americans are way better than the Taliban AK-47 or AK-74U. And, uh, the weapons... Uh, the uh, Taliban sniper is a bit stronger than the M24, which is the American sniper. And, um, to tell the complete truth, um, I, I think the balance issues can kind of, they need to be fixed. I mean, I'm thinking they should either weaken the Americans' weapons or strengthen the Taliban assault rifles and SMGs, because it's, it's pretty annoying how you're unevenly matched. And, um, let's see, there's a few game types, I'm not gonna explain them all. But, uh, overall multiplayer, it's, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. And here we go, here's single player. Do some more gameplay. Um, I'm loving the single player right now. This is, uh, one of the main reasons I bought the game. Because, um, you know, it, it's a pretty good game. Uh, but, uh, what I did was, the first thing I got when I came home is I popped it in the disc tray and went straight to multiplayer. And it's the first time I've ever done that. I usually complete the campaign before I go to multiplayer, just so I can get the hang of things. But, you know, this game, I went straight to multiplayer. Which isn't usual at all for me. And, um, you know what was funny? The first thing I, first time I popped in the disc, I get spawned into a mortar strike. <laughs> So, uh, okay, here's more single player. I'm gonna talk about single player now. Single player, the, uh, count, the controls are slightly different. There's a couple different control schemes, but EA and DICE did a great job of keeping them at least fairly similar to where you're not gonna play single player and multiplayer and be completely confused. Uh, the, the main difference is, depending on what control scheme you use, with the ones I use, the grenade and the knife button are different in multiplayer and single player, so I'm always failing with knives and nades. Gren grenades and knives. Sorry. Uh, and you can uh, knife dead bodies. Like you automatically lock on dead bodies and teammates. So it's getting annoying because you can sit there and knife in a dead Taliban for 10 minutes. <laughs> Which I just did. And sometimes if you try to kill an enemy that's behind cover, you may actually hit a uh, dead uh, enemy that you did not want to aim for. Oh, uh, and uh. Pretty soon I'm going to show you that friendly fire, it, you know, it'll give you tons of warnings when you're hitting a friendly, and then eventually they'll die. And, um, I'll show you this, like, right now. See, now, later on in the mission, I don't think I recorded it, but I do end up killing him, because I sit there knifing him. I think I knife him about seven times or eight times, maybe. But I, I do end up killing him, and, uh, <laughs> I did it again, and again. But, uh, I think it's fun, sitting there knifing Taliban over and over and over again. But, um, the game does have some freezing problems. 
and um, you know a few things that keep it from being perfect. But still, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Multiplayer eight out of, multiplayer six out of ten. Single player eight out of ten. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time.